The Make 15 was born in 1947 and is considered one of the legendary fighters, opening the era of Soviet jet fighters. After World War II, the Soviet Union embarked on research and production of jet fighters. Its first achievement was the Midnight Fighter, born in 1946. However, the Midnight proved too weak compared to the US B-80 shooting star because its jet engine was not strong enough. Unexpected luck came to the Soviet Union. British Prime Minister Clement Attlee, in an effort to warm up relations between the two countries, invited Soviet scientists and engineers to tour the Rolls-Royce jet engine factory. To the surprise of Soviet Supreme Leader Joseph Stalin, Britain even agreed to license the production of this engine in the Soviet Union, with the pledge that it would only be used for non-military purposes. Engine designer Vladimir Klimov immediately began to research and produce the Klimov RT-45 engine based on the British engine. The jet engines were then quickly mass-produced and fitted to the Martin MiG-15 fighter. MiG-15 fighter was born in 1947 and officially entered the Soviet Air Force in 1949, specializing in intercepting American bombers such as the B-29. After that, the Soviet Union exported the MiG-15 widely to foreign countries, including China. When the Korean War broke out, MiG-15s, piloted by Chinese Korean pilots, began to appear on the battlefield. On the morning of November 30, 1950, a US B-29 heavy bomber was bombing the Korean battlefield when it was suddenly attacked by a fighter, causing it to be slightly damaged. The fighter flew so fast that the B-29 gunners couldn't take arm, and the escorting F-80 jets quickly lost track of it. The report by the crew of the B-29 filled the American generals with anxiety. U.S. intelligence quickly determined that the attack plane was a new Soviet MiG-15 fighter, most likely taking off from a base in Manchuria. The Soviet MiG-15 fighters were so dangerous that the B-29, despite being escorted by many F-80 shooting stars and F-84 Thunderjet fighters, had to switch to nighttime. Their superiority temporarily belongs to Chinese pilots. For American pilots, the sight of MiG-15s gliding through their formations became an obsession. The culmination was that on a catastrophic day in October 1951, known as Black Tuesday, MiG-15 fighters knocked out six of the nine American B-29s in Korea battlefield. The MiG-15 has a length of about 10 meters, a wingspan of 10 meters, and a height of 3.65 meters. It was powered by Klimov VK-1 centrifugal flow turbojet engine with 26.5 kN of thrust. It had a range of 1,198 km, a top speed of 
1,107 km per hour and a rate of climb of 51.2 meters per second. MiG-15 was equipped with two NR-23 23mm autocannon in the lower left fuselage, one 37mm and 37 autocannon in the lower right fuselage, and two hard points to carry combination surf bombs, drop tanks, or unguided rockets. The MiG-15 was considered a nightmare over North Korea in the 1950s. Impressed with the MiG-15 and eager to discover this fighter, the US promised to pay $100,000 to any North Korean pilot who defected with the aircraft. Finally, the US was satisfied where the North Korean pilot Lieutenant No Sukkum piloted a MiG-15 to land at Kimpo Airport in South Korea on October 21, 1953. After the Korean War, the MiG-15s gradually became obsolete and were replaced by MiG-17 fighters. In all, more than 18,000 MiG-15 fighters have been built and served in the air forces of more than 40 countries around the world. Although most countries have retired their MiG-15 fighters since the 1970s, however, Pyongyang still has to maintain its outdated MiG-15s because of the arms embargo. There are 34 MiG-15s in total in North Korea and are for training purposes only. Surprisingly, the production line of MiG-15 components has long been stopped, which shows the ingenuity of North Korean engineers in maintaining their fleet. It is very likely that these MiG-15s will continue to operate for the next few years until the country finds a replacement aircraft. My video about the North Korea MiG-15 Squadron answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.